everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost, and I thought I would just uh, toss some ideas out there on what to do with different uh, pictures that you come across in your crafting. Uh, some of us get them from DigiKits, some of us cut them out of magazines, out of books, some of us use family photos. Um, but I, this video is actually designed uh, just to show you different ways that you can stylize them or decorate them um, just to give you some tips and tricks along the way that might you might find helpful or useful. I hope so. All right, so let's uh, just zoom in here. Okay, so I've just got an example of a digi kit here and you can cut them all out. And I'm just going to show you some examples of some I made with mine, but it, these don't have to be with mine. They can be with anybody's digikits or pictures and, like I said, in any of the magazines or books or whatever you have. Um, they can be applied to everything across the board. So I'll just start off with a simple example. Okay, so here is one little image uh, that I cut out and I literally just rounded the corners, inked the edges, and then I drew some lines on the back with a magic marker, magic marker, with a little black marker, uh, layered up a little collage in the corner with a word from a book page and just did a little rubber stamp. Very cute, very simple, very functional, and it, I printed it out on cardstock so it would be easy. But if you don't have cardstock, you can double or triple up paper or um, glue some uh, paper on the back of your uh, uh, printed copies from your printer um, or you can use junk mail that is a little thicker like direct mailer cards and then put paper on the back of that if you want a writing space or you can wrap it around and have something firm in the middle and that will give you something to glue to. Uh, so that's one example, very simple basic technique. Uh, another fun simple example of a basic technique is a little collage uh, and this literally is using um, this is a piece of book page, a piece of bed sheet, and another piece of book page glued together in the corner to a little corner cluster. And down here is uh, three little, oops, stay still, Pam. Um, three little pieces, book page, book page, and then a circle punch of a book page. So uh, they can be layered up and catty cornered to give you a little bit of eye interest. And let me see if I can kind of show you this in a book, what it might look like. So you could put that on a book uh, page. Wouldn't that be cute? That'd be really cute. Um, you could put it in the corner. You could put it up here. It could be a little tuck. I mean, there's a million one things you can you can do with these. Now here's a, uh, what did I do anything on the back of that one? Yeah, I just put a, a rubber stamp just for something fun. You don't have to put things on the back. Obviously, if you're going to glue it down, you don't need to put anything on the back. But um, here is another one. Very simple, very basic concept. All I did was put some... Uh, you see that in the corner? That's uh, liquid pearls in the corner. Uh, that was in the color bronze and just a dot, 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 and it makes it look like little rivets. So if you put it down on a page, it'll look like it's riveted to the page. Kind of cool. Anything on the back? Nope. Forgot that one. Okay. Might've forgotten a few of these, <laughs> but um, and if you're going to glue it to the page, you don't need to put anything on the back. Oh, rocket science. I know. Okay. So taking that concept, but then layering in something in addition to it, I had an Edith Holden page with the pretty uh, right ear printing she has, and I just nestled that concept onto a bigger um, uh, book page. So if you have a book page of interest, like a, a dictionary page, thesaurus, music paper, um, like with music notes, something like that, you can use it to frame uh, a central focus uh, uh, focal point image for yourself and that can look really cool and that can look cool on a page or that can even look cool on the front cover something like that give you different ideas and um, you can carry on with the layering you could put cheesecloth and other things behind to give it some intrigue now what else do we have here oh then we're going along to uh, this one I just sewed around for just a little different look um, just some sewing, a basic zigzag stitch around. I think on the back I had the word heart and I had blue uh, bobbin thread in there and white on the front. Now if you did it with black or with brown it would give you a different look and a different effect. Um, I just happen to have white in the machine so off we went and running with that one but it gives it a little bit of texture and uh, kind of cool, kind of fun, huh? Okay, so another example is what if you have some little lace trims? Things like that. I don't know if I'm in focus here. I think I'm too far away. All right, much better. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, a little lace trim um, and then a little uh, bling of some sort uh, as a little tiny uh, focal point there. Very fun. If you've got a little scrap lace around, that might be something that you can do. Totally fun idea. And uh, here is one layered on some material. 
And I just had uh, some material. I was uh, avocado dyeing the other day and I was mopping up the avocado dye splash and I was using, I, I like to use these flower sack tea towels I get from Walmart because they're, they're a nice cotton uh, loose weave fabric and they absorb the color of the dye and then I can use it for uh, things after. And like, here's an example. If you want to uh, layer it up and I layered it with some book page there just for fun, but let's say you want to put it on the front cover of a journal. That would look kind of cute, right? I mean, all of a sudden you're rocking it, you know? I mean, it gives you a lot of possibilities. So uh, these little images that you come across in life, you can use them um, for cover images, for pockets, for tucks, for belly bands, for, uh, you know, all sorts of things. But I just wanted to show you some different ways you can decorate them because they are, there's a million and one ways to play with them. And here's another one I want to show you. I'm going to surely stick my finger in something here that doesn't belong. Okay. Oh, you got to go closer. Okay. So this one, um, I wanted to play with the button idea. I thought, what if I put four buttons in the corner? That's kind of cute, right? And then, of course, I, I grabbed the liquid pearls, and this one is in, I believe, rose gold? Rose gold. So I used rose gold, and I, instead of sewing the buttons, I, um, I glued them on, but then I put dots where the holes were, but they kind of blended together. So I thought, well, maybe make, let me make it look more like a flower. And I thought I'd put a central little blob of something. So I grabbed my Stickles Rose Gold, happens to be the same, same name. Um, and I just put a central dot there. Now the Stickles takes forever to dry. So just put that aside and, and let it dry. But um, uh, so that you can, there's, there's no limit to these things. You can just keep going and going. So uh, yeah. So let's see how we might use some of these in a journal. Okay, so I've got this journal here I'm working on. I think I want to put something on this page because I think the contrast will be very nice. But let me just try some. No, nope, not enough contrast. Try some things on for size here. Like in that, that's very simple and clean. And uh, maybe I'm going to do that. I just, I like that one. But th this one I, I designed so you could do something on the back. Let me pick one that I didn't put anything on the back. This guy, he has nice contrast. I didn't ink him up. I didn't put anything on the back. But he's just ready to go right there. So why don't we just go ahead and... We'll put him down. All right. And put my glue on it. I'm using Fabrifix, but you can use whatever you like. Any glue will work here. And there. And just the way that coffee dyed paper came out, I thought it looks like wood. Birdies, you know, on a branch on wood. I thought that is a nice theme. All right, let's just go to some other pages in here. We got some pink. Pink would look pretty. Oh, maybe this one. Maybe him here. And let's do something different with him. Let's turn him into a mini uh, belly band. So I'm just going to glue the top and I'm just going to glue the bottom. Yeah. Just see how that goes. And um, these are all from my Songbird Digi Kit, but like I said, it doesn't have to be my kit. It doesn't have to be anybody's kit. You can use this. We'll work with... Uh, uh, things you get from books and or your own drawings or things like that wherever you get images and pictures okay so we have that so let me go have something that would be fun to tuck in there and how about this not doing anything fancy just grabbing what i have around me i have this little i love this little uh notebook i found it at the thrift store one day and let me see if i can figure out a way to tuck it in there all right so i'm gonna have to fold it i think folding long ways is going to be my friend here it's a little day timer, like planner page. Oh, those are cute to stick in journals. Um, there we go. And then maybe fold it again. To be complete. It's not too fat. It's kind of thin paper, so I think it's going to be okay. Now, if all goes well with mice and men, we should have a little place to tuck that. There we go. And you could have it peek out both sides. You could have it uh, there. It looks like something's nestled back there. So kind of cute, just a little functional thing, a little surprise for somebody to find. Maybe you want to um, uh, put a little something on it. You know how we like to do that. And uh, all right, what have I got? I've got a little, I got a little raccoon here because my drawer is so organized because you guys were so patient with me while I organized my teeny tiny peg stamp drawer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, let's, let's maybe put him there. Okay, Whew, his tail just about didn't make it, but it did. So all is well. All right. 
So let's tuck, tuck him back in and he'll just be peeking out. Just do a little something there to peek. We can do it without smudging him. There, there he is, all cute and dandy. Okay. Um, here you go closer so you can see. Yeah, there he is, all adorable. Now I can do more in that page or I can just leave it uh, simple and um, peaceful and neutral and relaxing. I can, I can, I, I can do that. <laughs> It's not easy for me, but I can do it if I really put my mind to it. All right, let's just kind of randomly put these through the book. I've done a little play in here already. Okay, here's a very bright page. So maybe I want to do one that is, um, how about this guy? Yeah, he would look like he would pop really nicely there. And uh, I don't know, I feel like I almost want to make him to be a upper, like a, a little corner tuck. And uh, we'll go from that. And um, let's just turn him into that. So he had nothing on the back, so that's perfect. So, no work wasted, no work wasted. There's always another page, remember that. There's always another page, because there's, you know why? Because there's always another journal, that's why. And uh, <laughs> one begets the next begets the next, right? As you're making one, you start to think of like, oh, I'd love to do this and I would love to do that. And you do, and it happens and it's awesome because it's so much fun just to keep creating. So I encourage you to hang on to those fun ideas and just go for it and uh, don't be afraid to play. Um, and okay, so that's yellow. So let me see if I can find something that's con okay. That's kind of pretty. Let's see what that is. All right, I found this flowery thing. I think it's a, a card or something. I don't exactly know what it is, but I found it at a thrift shop one day, and I think it's kind of pretty. So I'm going to fold it up here. Now this would be better if you just like wait for it to dry, but you know me, that's not going to happen. Nope. In a month of Sundays, somebody famous once said. All right, so this has got a lot of decor on it already, but I think I might just leave that like that. And I might put a little surprise or something under here. Like, what, what? I've got some stamps in here. What if I just put those under there to surprise the person? And uh, give a little ink. Oh, I just have this blue ink here. I thought I might make it blue. And I've got some Scotch Create glue stick. And uh, I know it always sounds like I'm, I'm, I'm sponsored by these people. I'm not, I just, I like the glue. Um, <laughs> and here we have by our sponsor. Okay, that's not our sponsor, there's no sponsor. Um, okay, just going along here, gluing the stuff down. You know when you find you like something and you just, you know, because people ask me, they ask me all the time, what, what glue stick do you use and this and that? So I think it's, it, I find it easier just to mention it and uh, yeah, get the information out there and, and, and make your own decisions, you know? I mean, glue is very, very personal. <laughs> it's very personal. Yeah, you got to like your glue. Okay, so let's say we're just going to slip that in there and then they'll have something fun to discover. They're like, oh, what's this? Oh, what's that? Oh, like it'll be like that. Okay, so that's how it goes. It's as simple as that. So you can make a bunch of these up ahead of time. Let's do another one. Oh, let's say, go back here on this page. That's pretty. All right, how about we make, um, just got this book page here. I don't know. Let's try and make something out of it. I hate to see anything go to waste. Um, trying to learn to throw things away, but it's hard. I want to make something out of everything. Ah! And uh, actually, that would make a cute corner tuck too, wouldn't it? Oh, it would. We just made one of those. Got to do something different. Okay, that's all right. I can, I can put that down. And uh, you know what? I have this and I can do something with this. Yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, okay, this side's better. Okay, go with this side. And I want the length, so there's text here, but not here, but that's okay. Why is that okay? Because I could stick something there. And uh, let me get the brown. I hope you guys are having fun today. Are you getting your daily dose? You better be, because I'm going to come looking for you if you're not. Um, uh, yeah, so let's, let's try. No, brown, okay, I don't know. Brown on brown? Just give it a little bit of uh, aging. I love this. Uh, this is from Edith Holden and her beautiful writing. And um, But it could be anything. It could be, you know, dictionary, music pages, whatever you got. doesn't matter. I'm going to put that there. And I think I'm maybe going to do it down in this bottom corner. And I'm going to make this a long corner tuck. Now, I could have made it a U-shaped pocket. Totally fine. I could do it up here. But I think just to, you know, for di difference... Difference in uh, excitement here. We're just going to try something different. I'm going to make a long corner tuck. Oh, somebody asked me to do the definitions of all of what the words mean. <sighs> 
Okay, I'm going to try and mention what things are. I call anything that has like an L-shaped glue in the back a tuck. No, I, I, this is not absolute. I will break this rule a million times. But if it has a U-shaped glue, a U-shaped glue, I call it a pocket. Okay, I don't know. That just seems to work for me. I don't think there's any hard, fast rules. Um, and I don't think there's the great grand dictionary um, of junk journal making. But I think you can just kind of wing it and figure it out as you go. It doesn't matter what you call these things, as long as you're having fun. Okay, so was it this one I was going to use? I think it was this one because it has the sewn. So I decided to leave this as a pure, pristine journal card. Somebody turns it over, they have space to write. I could even put a little fluffaroo on the top. Want to do that? Okay, let me find a fluffaroo. There's got to be something around here somewhere. Hang on. There. Whoop. Oh, there goes that. All right, how about we just grab that? Okay, this looks thin. That was my, what is that? My blue dauber. Okay, got it. I'm back. Um, let's see. I think we need to punch a hole. Let's get the old puncher. Oops. Oh, very expensive device. Imported. Everybody has one of these somewhere. Okay, got that. This little guy. This is very thin. I don't know where I got this, but I love it. And I wish I could find more because it's so cool. I guess you could probably Google thin lace. But uh, it, thin lace works so well in, in uh, junk journals. Thicker lace is okay too, but uh, thin lace is just perfectly adaptable to most styles if you like lace. So there you go. All right. Maybe that's a little long. Angle cuts are cute. There we go. Something like that. I like that. Isn't that? That's cute. It's very simple. Very, uh, okay, I was going to put something here. Looking for what's on the desk. I have a ticket. I have a ticket and it's got some blue too. So we're playing off the blue and I'm just going to glue that puppy down. And this is an old, uh, I want to say Thailand. Uh, I want to say bus ticket. I think it's a bus ticket. If I remember correctly what I bought. And I've got a few piles of things that I bought. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure that was a Thailand bus ticket. If anybody knows different, please, please mention. Okay, here we go. I mean, so many things can be ephemera, right? Coupons, tickets, um, just so many little things. What are you, you little fluff? Um, oh, you know, I, I came across something. I want to use it. Hang on. All right. I have these oleander leaves that I was uh, drying, and they've been there forever. And I haven't used them yet, all of them yet, but maybe, oh, that'll look pretty on there. Let me stick it down there. All right. What should I stick it with? Maybe Fabrifix, because that'll, that'll glue. Um, when I, when I glue these, uh, let me just glue it here. It might be better. Um, kind of go with the general shape of the thing with Bob. It might fracture a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. Um, I just think it's so pretty and delicate. It just needs to be in here. Okay. Let's put you there. All right. There you go. And that fabric is going to hold that pretty well. There. So that look cute on the page. I don't know. I just, ah, I love it. Um, and, and you can sandwich nature in between two pieces of plastic or laminated or what have you and that will protect it and preserve it for a longer period of time but sometimes it's fun just to touch it and feel it you know and even if it crumbles it just shows it's real you know and uh, hopefully it'll last long enough for somebody to enjoy i hope so so let's try another little thingy here with these and uh, maybe this would be a bird themed book all right let's roll back to the front section see what we got going down already been playing here but oh here's so here's like totally white the white dreaded white palette the white canvas okay so i got this guy he's really cool i like him a lot he would look good on there but he needs something more behind him so maybe we will do some stenciling hmm? what do you think that might give him a little bit of intrigue behind him yeah okay let's find a stencil looking looking hang on okay i found my most favorite stencil which is this tree this old branchy tree this is the most expensive stencil i've ever purchased but i use it so much i get uh oh here's the name of it okay and i have it in my, my um, amazon store too but i just saw the name of it on here it's called the crafterworkshop.com okay there you go so if anybody's looking for it that's where i got it or that's the name of what's on here um this is brown. I'm just going to 
Uh, yeah, so most of my stencils, I buy them very inexpensively on eBay. I just Google like whatever, leaf stencils, butterfly stencils, flower stencils or whatever. And then I'll look um, lowest price first and I'll work my way up. And sometimes you can get them for a penny or, you know, it's like crazy what you can get them for sometimes. Sometimes they take a little while to get here, but um, you can get some good deals on stencils. But every once in a while, you know, it's Christmas or your birthday and there's just been one stencil you really wanted because you know you're going to use it a lot. For me, it is this guy. This guy just gets used a lot. And I can be like rough and goofy with him and he's always forgiving, you know? He just forgives me <laughs> for all my my un indelicate movements and uh, my my probably ways of stenciling wrong, rubber stamping wrong, everything, you know, you know, anything that requires a manual, <laughs> it's probably not going to happen. So I'm just vignetting or uh, what I call just like haloing around the outside to, to, to focus the center in a little bit more. There, it kind of muddied that water up a little bit. And where's my little placard? Yeah, that looks kind of cute. Maybe I want a little more contrast. So what I might do is I'm feeling very bold. I'm just going to take the same shape. Should I do this? Yeah, maybe I'm going to just do the same shape. And I'm just going to put some little bit of blue in here too. Just to give it a little contrast. We'll see what happens. I'll just go with this and maybe it'll pop a little more. I always like a little pop factor. We can keep, you can keep layering up on the pop factor until you get the poparama of your desire. Okay, here we go. Looks pretty just as it is. I probably shouldn't muddy with the page, right? Actually, that looks nice. Very nice. Very pretty. But I think I, I don't know. I feel like I need something else to pop behind it. So I'm almost feeling like I want to put this on a book page. Let me grab one of those. Oh, here, I've got this book page. This is kind of cool. Uh, this is some German gram grammar book. Okay, come here. Oh, look, some little little one filled in the words. Aww. Aww. I love that. Okay. I'm going to hide all this hard work. No, oh, that's not nice. Let's, let's, let's find something else. <laughs> here, I've got this. This, uh, oh, no, wait. Hang on. Just, just hold your horses. Okay, I've got this. Now this might work cool. Oh, I almost hung myself on my microphone cord. Okay, let's see if I can figure something out here. All right, let's tear some of the extra off just so we get down to the base picture. Okay, we'll go from there and see how much more we should tear off. Oh, that's looking kind of pretty. I like that. It's gonna cover up most of it, but that's okay. That's okay. And where's my original? Okay, here, just make sure. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna take Mr. February right off. Bye, February, we'll use you later. Oh, that's really pretty, I really like that. This is what I was thinking, so maybe something like that. Oh, that would kinda of look cool, huh? Okay, so let's figure on that, and then let's tear some of this off. All right, here we go. All right, there we go. Okay, well, that's pretty, I like that. All right, let's do that. Do we want to emphasize it? Maybe, huh? What should we use? Should we use the blue? Let's try that. Still have enough here on the um, on the little ink dauber. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's so much fun to play with paper. You know, it's just, it feels good in the hand. It feels crunchy and crinkly and I don't know, like we're making something out of nothing. Make sure these things don't go to the landfill. Uh, and uh, using our time wisely because we're being creative and using our imagination, getting our brains off of our woes and just looking at it, look from the world of um, the eyes of possibility. What can I make out of this? What can I do? What can I do? Okay. I think I want more of a impact there. You know, let me, I think I need, we're time wise. We're okay. Um, let me get, oh, there we go. There it is. Walnut stain. Yeah, when you need a serious brown. That's right. Oh, this pussyfooting around with vintage photo. You get in there and you come out with some intense walnut stain. I don't know why they think walnuts are so dark, but apparently walnut stain, like the real stuff, you can get some pretty dark ink. And I have some somewhere. Like I have walnut stain crystals. 
I guess you have to mix with water or with alcohol or something and then it makes a beautiful, very dark, very deep dye. I think I played with it once, but I was so afraid of splashing it everywhere. I got, I put it away. <laughs> and uh, so I, I need to find it. I have no idea where it is right now, but I do have it. And I really, that would be fun to pull out and play with more. I need, this needs to be the year of not being afraid to play with the good stuff, right? I have a good mat, which I bought, a, a very nice black mat, and I'm afraid to use it. Uh, because I'm afraid I'm going to get it dirty. It's under here. I'm trying, trying to show it to you. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Um, but I think this is going to be the year I'm going to pull it out and just gum it up and it'll look like this one. Um, I don't know what the <laughs> purpose that serves, but there. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, let's do that. Ah, oh yeah. When things are coming together, they just feel so good. They just feel so good. Okay. And it all comes together. You know, and if it doesn't come together, you put it down, you walk away, you go get a snack, come back a little later, you come back um, uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, maybe you come back the next day, maybe you don't come back till next week or next month, that's okay. And uh, everybody with all the unfinished projects, hats off to you, you know, because you, you had the guts to walk away and uh, give yourself an opportunity to come back with a new perspective. So all is not lost. There is method to your madness. Mm -hmm, there is. <laughs> I'm validating it. <laughs> it is officially method to your madness. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay. Um, and that really wasn't the original. I smudged something because I can see glitter here. No, not surprised at how that happened. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to glue the card part. And maybe I'll just leave the material floppy. Let's see. I might need to tack it down. I might not. But I'm using Fabrifix, which is a clear silicone glue. Uh, good fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to paper. Um, does have an aroma, a bit of a strong smell. So if you don't like strong smells, you might want to try a different glue. But like I said, glues are personal. You'll find your favorite glue. There. That's pretty. Just like a pretty simple page. I don't know. I feel like I need something what do I need? What do I need? I need words or something. I need something. Um, oh, I do love that secret of the old clock. Uh, oh. How about grammatical exercises? Okay. Gotta have something. Oh, I guess I'm tearing this page. Oh, I've got the rest of it there. So yeah, just tearing fun things from book pages. Very fun to do. Great way to easily find little phrases and stuff like that. I mean, sometimes you just need something like that, something like that. I mean, you know, it could be wherever, you, wherever you want to put it here, here. Um, I think I, I don't, maybe like that. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll put this down. Oh, don't be squeaking at me, mister. Yeah. Glue bottle is talking to me. My glue bottle and I had a discussion this morning. He was not wanting to play, but I told him he had to come out and play. Well, I got that right there. Is that going to be too much word? Yeah, that's still too close. Maybe here. Yeah, there. That's better. Okay. All right. There we go. Now I feel better. I feel more complete. Um, all right. Now, if I start putting liquid pearls on it, I won't be able to flip the page. So I have to, I have to say this page you know, I will come back to later or I'll let, leave you be. I like you as you are. Okay. So let's see. What we have. Oh, you're pretty. You're really pretty. Okay, so why don't we do? Um, who we got left? Okay, so we got you. Oh, you are. You're a tuckable. So we want to tuck you somewhere. So all right, I had something I could tuck. How about in here? Oh, we're glued together. That happens sometimes. We'll fix you later. There we go. All right, better. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna stick you in here. That's kind of cute. Tuck sticking out like that. Yeah, that's good. Or I could turn him into a little pocket or something right on the front here. But I, I just like the way that looks. And I just want to leave that as is. So I'm going to use him because he's all dolled up on the back. And uh, I thought that might be fun just to have him peeking out. There we go. Little bird peeking out. And um, then that leaves our last one. Oh, no, second last one. We have one more. Where are we time wise? Okay, yeah, we're good time here. Um, this little guy, he's just darn pretty. I mean, who would argue with that? Nobody in their right mind. And uh, maybe we'll go to the back here and see what's going on back here. Um, oh, we have you there, so we don't be too close to you. I'll put you on the back page. That would look pretty, wouldn't you? Maybe, yes, how about an upper tuck? Right there, I think that, oh, I did put something. But you know what? We're just going to have to forfeit that, and we're going to put the glue here and here. This is going to be a corner tuck 
in the upper corner. So I'm going to call it an upper corner tuck. There you go. <laughs> the official wordage. <laughs> the ver verbiage. All right, there we go. I do like words. I'm a bit of a word girl. Yeah. All right. Have you noticed? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we want to tuck some cuties in there, right? So let's see what we can tuck. Hold on. I found some sewing ephemera. Long legs. A suit with trim shorts can gracefully reduce the apparent length of the legs. Reduce the apparent length of the legs. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know we wanted to reduce the apparent length of the legs, but apparently back then they did. Who knew? Well, I'm just going to tuck that in there for now. I think that's good. And we can always work on developing that in different directions. That may or may not stay there. Have no idea yet. Things change quickly in blink of an eye here. Now this one is probably still wet. I'm sure I blurped it somewhere, but that's really pretty, isn't it? I just think that's really pretty. Um, oh, oh, that would look really cute there, wouldn't it? Oh, that looks really kind of cool. I like that. Let's see how close we are to something else. Oh, maybe I'll put it here. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, I think I like that there. I'm just going to put it in the center and just glue it on. That's I'm just going to call it done. And we have put all these little birdies in here. They have all nested inside of this journal. And I'm going to leave this open because it has to dry. Because the liquid pearls dries pretty fast. But the, um, the stickles, yeah, that could take a couple hours. So there we go. I'm just going to put that down. Looking so cute there. Aren't you just adorbs? You are just adorbs. So I hope we gives this, this gives you some fun ideas on different ways you can do use digital kits and pictures and things like that in different ways. Um, so having one picture, um, you have a multitude of ways that you can use these little goodies. And with that, I will leave you with if you had fun here, if you found value here, please like, subscribe and share. Click the notification bell if you want to be notified of new videos coming up. My new videos come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And podcasts with your audio and new material come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And all the links are down below. Um, and it's free to listen to. I have a vintage uh, digital kit center called my Etsy shop where I have about 70 di digital uh, kits right at the moment that you can pick from, pr uh, download and print out and use at will however you like to in your uh, crafting uh, for personal use or for sale. I mean, meaning that you can use them if you're making journals and things like that. And um, um, I also put in there uh, some of my own journals like something like this will be for sale eventually in my Etsy shop and uh, all other bundles and gift sets and things like that. And lots of fun things coming your way. And I also have a monthly email newsletter, which has a free digital image that gets emailed to you monthly, along with a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, um, uh, uh, some tips on junk journaling, and uh, you can get to see early some of my new digital kits. And um, I have a Facebook group. It's called the Paper Outpost FB group. Uh, come on over and join us. We're having a lot of fun over there. Um, make sure you answer the four questions, and then you'll be ent you'll be in able to come into the group. It's a private group, but we do weekly and monthly challenges along with uh, making things uh, spun off from the, these videos. I love to see what you guys make. I, I get so many emails saying I would love to show you uh, what I made and I want everybody to see what you're making. So this is a great repository for that to uh, show us what you're making and everything inspires every 